Welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about how to divorce your time from your income. This is something that has been life changing for me. And so I wanted to share it obviously because maybe it could help to change your life as well. Now this is uh, specifically for freelancers, people who have been working outside of a job um, for any amount of time, but you've reached that realization that there's only so much you can go, only so much you can make, um, you know, with the time that you have. Either you raise your prices and, you know, charge your worth, as they say, um, and, and keep trying to raise your rates, uh, or you take on more clients, but whichever way you, you spin it, you know, you are trading your time for money. And um, it took me years to realize the, the, the complete difference and shift in mindset and lifestyle um, when you stop, when you divorce that whole idea of having to sell your time for money. And the way out is um, really a transition. And it's taking whatever it is that you're doing now as a service and figuring out where the value is that people would pay for um, as something that they could do themselves, right? So essentially you're looking for the DIY, the do-it-yourself component of your service offering. Now chances are um, that DIY aspect is not gonna be for the same audience that you're selling to now, for your clients who are buying your time. Um, chances are the people who are gonna wanna buy um, the, the, the value that you have as a do it yourself thing are going to be people who are doing something similar to you or who are trying to accomplish, uh, the same business goals that you've already accomplished. So those are likely to be colleagues of some sort, uh, your peers. Uh, and essentially what you're doing there is you're turning your competition into customers. Uh, so to give you an example, um, let's say I'm a photographer and I do these really cool edits and I've come up with my own uh, presets and whatever tool I use to do my edits and I'm able to export those presets. I'm just making this up. I'm not a photographer right now. I don't know how the preset thing works, but let's just say I could export those presets. Well, now those presets become valuable, not to my clients, because they just want the pictures, they want the end results. But those presets are valuable to the people who are doing and offering a similar service that I am. So uh, that's like a bridge to go from, okay, I'm offering a service to how do I extract a product from that service? Another example is um, for a number of years, I was a freelance Squarespace developer. Now, I'm not a great developer, but I learned enough to be okay. Um, and then I found a developer who was uh, better than okay, and we partnered. And what we found pretty quickly was that, well, one, because he, you know, he had the expertise that I didn't have, we were able to uh, take on more projects. But we found some reoccurring problems that clients would bring to us, and we decided to turn those solutions into pre-packaged uh, plugins, <laughs> plugins that people could uh, implement on their own. And so um, it was as simple as that. Uh, now, obviously, there's some in-between parts or whatnot, but the idea behind it of, you know, what is the do-it-yourself aspect of the service that I'm offering? Who would this be most valuable for? And how can I put it in front of them or how can I build an audience of those people? So uh, those are the type of questions you have to ask um, and the challenge that lays ahead. So hopefully you found this useful or informative. Um, again, like I said at the beginning, check out the link below the course built once, uh, sell twice, really uh, encapsulates this idea really well or articulates this idea really well. Um, and uh, it's definitely worth it. So that's all I got for this video. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.